Hey everyone, I'm Alpha. Welcome back to Head and Blood Right. You naturally can't actually save in these, so I had to go back to this. Uh, the half orc hopped into the ventilation shaft, sweaty arms shaking in exhaustion. She crawled forward. I feel like this. I feel like a woman should be reading this to me, and she should be moaning with the way that this game has been. Uh, she could feel her battered body growing less responsive, beckoning for rest. The air seemed to be heating up. Visions of war rolled before her eyes. Dark citadels surrounded by hellish plains. Orc were raging, orcs were raging around her, clenched to battle with the demonic horde. She tried to move, but something held her in place. A dark figure with a gleaming pair of orange eyes. Abhaus. The name rang her awake, head almost hitting the narrow vent in surprise. How long had she been asleep? Moving forward, adrenaline coursed through her veins as the thought of the demon invasion brought her back on track. She had to reach the portal and use it to get to the crystal heart before the aggressors did. But with an army of cultists around, it won't be easy. Yeah, secret. I did it. What if that was all the secrets and it just said secrets 100%? You got the little can at the start. <laughs> so we picked up one of these earlier. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. So I'm just trying to see. This is a very dark level. What's going on in here, guys? Oh, this would be a good time for my... Yeah. Start over. All right, I dashed back here. Put my seeing guys on. Hello. Like it's not that just that I want to like save the health, but I also want to use the new fun mechanic. Dirt guns are cool. I do very often actually really enjoy turret guns in games. Switch is stuck. Can't take the pressure anymore. First the forge elements will try to kill me for no reason. And these giant hungry worms popped out everywhere. Reiko went to inspect some odd noises and the next thing I know I'm running over her body towards the nearest hiding hole. I had no time to pick up my gun. Oh, fire and iron, how have we angered you this time? Haven't we offered our best metal and flame to you? Maybe I can sneak by the vents. I'll have to leave my stuff here, though. A power core. Nice. The proper cool tools to unjam it without damaging it. Bingo. Ah, you fool. You thought I couldn't find that secret? Even I'm not that inept. Uh-huh. Hey. What the? Got trolled. Okay, so that's something we gotta watch out for. Let's save the game, huh? Shoot. Huh, this 
This is quite the shakeup, I'll say. Ah, but. Huh? There we go. Just had to figure out my jump physics. A tool kit. A loaf of bread, a vial of healing. Elemental ring. Can't help it. I couldn't help but see you struggle while hurting the forge elementals to, by the lava pools. Take this ring we dwarves use to protect ourselves from the mud of the fire. Maybe we can take a stroll through the caverns tomorrow. I'll show you how to use it. To stop at the tavern, have a drink. I'll wait for you by the forge, Torvald. It was left here. <sighs> was that guy caught simping? Tools. Come on, Jen. Oh, man. A lot of guys. Okay. So what does an elemental ring do? Oh, whoops. That's okay. Okay, minimal damage, that's good. This is an interesting shakeup, although I'm not sure if I... Like, playing a game like this makes me want to just be like, oh yeah, I'm a crazy as fuck rat and fuck demon. Just here to kill and ruin people's days and stuff. You know, I want to be scary. I want to... I want to be destructive. What did I do? Sweet. See, this, this isn't exactly, like, you know, the kind of enterprising uh, uh, slaughter killing that I would expect from a game of this type, you know? Hi! See Tiari on the other side of the window. She nods at you, but doesn't look relieved to see you. A finger trace message in the reinforced glass. Lock me in through key. Portal running out. Hurry. Iron key. See, why endanger myself? Why do anything? Oh, man. Boy, is that a level. I love big crucibles or forges. Those are always awesome. Those are always cool levels. Those are clearly Kako Demons, guys. Guess what? I also love Kako Demons, but... I can see that those are Kako Demons. I'm not going to complain about it too much, although I, I hope they don't expect me to remember a different name for them. Oops, stepped in the lava. Big steppy in lava, too. So where are we going? Got over there. Got over there. That doesn't look like too much. Got 
Much, don't you think, guys? So there is a way to get back up, but it's pretty bad. I don't even know what all these things do. It looks like one of them may be more resistant. little extreme. Okay. Pardon me, sir, but... Cool. More time shards. Skin of spring water, how nice. Cool, I'm just gonna hang out here for a second, guys. Can I read this? I didn't read it. Burn fragment of scroll. Don't have don't harvest the red crystal crusters, only the single one doesn't explode with flame. Ugh. It's gooey in there, lads. Whoa, you're a big problem, huh? Forge elemental, huh? There's a... F I think there's one of them in here. Forge elemental. Down there, maybe? And a red crystal. Being able to save everywhere is pretty nice. almost exclusively axe is really satisfying. I highly recommend it. Apparently the highest difficulty just lets you do that though. Like, they take away your ability to even shoot a gun and just give you variations on melee. Yeah, that was something I don't fully understand, but as far as I know, they, get, they like actually give you more like options in melee. Some stupid iron urchin wandered into the testing caves yesterday and the sentry started shooting at it. Little fucker didn't shy away and charged at it, blowing it to bits. The sentry's messed up, but reckon you can fix the hole. I'll handle the brain when you're done here. Oops. Clearly I need to talk to Valancha since it seems they forgot to program the damn things not to shoot our own maintenance drones. Anyway, I've dropped you a sentry for reference. A working sentry for reference. Once you deploy it, you'll need the right tools to unpack it or it will self-destruct. Call me for help. You possibly be. Prepare the key machine. Tell the Minotaurs to haul it back to the Mold Forge. The ma thing makes so much noise, I can't hear my own thoughts. Hmm. One iron ingot, and it'll make me a chi. And a bolt mag. I wonder if this guy's one of those like weird fans for um, Warhammer 40k. Oops. I think that was the right thing, actually. 
Yeah. It looks like it's protecting me a bit. Okay. Little bonuses over here. Sometimes the things that they call secrets in Doom are not what I would call secrets. Doom and its, you know, familiars in the boomer shooter genre. Because, like, sometimes you'll encounter something that is a little hidden away from you. But it's like just behind a door that you, like, it looks like a door that you can click on, so you may as well. And that counts as a secret. And then sometimes you see stuff that is, like, just sitting out in the open, but like, is a little further away, and I'm like, that would be a secret. I think a secret room has to be something that, like, you put behind a door, you know? Dangerous in here, should save. Interesting uh, terrain, at least. No? That's too bad. I like that their little plasma burns do turn the area blue. Maybe it's like a chemical burn they're shooting, you know? Like it's like acid and they just leave a little loop of acid on the wall. Pickaxe, cool. Is that the cave in? Oh. What? That was about as professional as I've ever been. Don't start expecting that from me. It's never ever going to be that good. I love hut. It actually makes you jump better when you do that, when you say hut. Okay, so then we dropped this right doy. That makes a lot of sense. So this is the earth key door. So is this. This one isn't. This is how I got in here. But because two of the doors I looked at in a row at the earth key, and then this one, but uh, not that much. Oh no, I got distracted. Right. Crafting through to make sure I don't hit my head. Okay. Spikes. Couldn't I throw, like, just any hunk of iron in there? Be long until we return from the war against the demons, but as always, you have to learn the reins of patience, my son. You've been fulfilling your apprenticeship well, so I will allow you to reach beyond our old ways of smelting. Alas, you may finally use the smelting machine to make precise iron bars. Drop the iron ore into the hot hearth and marvel as it melts and drips into the shape of an ingot. Don't forsake your duty and do not envy mine. Your task here is as difficult as fighting a horde of foul beast. And I trust you'll stand up to your name. Start me with you. Hmm. Okay, so I smelt iron ore and drip it into an ingot. Bring the ingot in there. Turn it into a key. Ah, oh, brother.
Oh. Simpler than I suspected. Knowing in a boomer shooter. I don't think my wife hates that. Like, I don't know why, but she really dislikes the term boomer shooter. Getting a key item is usually a good way to make enemies spawn behind you. There. Yeah, I recognize that sound effect. Iron key. So now what I need to open these, huh? Nope, it was these ones. Yep, earth key. And I got the symbol right on there. Okay. So let's go back down this way. Because now that we have one of those, it might mean something. Where? Oops. There's this little sound effect from Doom that I think about often, but like, I don't know why it plays or what it means. It's just a little, like, it's like a little teeth gnashing noise. Oops. Earth key. Right. One of these days I'll actually be good at the genre I'm so passionate about. Oh god. Oh man. All right, I have I have cracked. I am using a guide. Uh because that's normally how these LP LPs go if you're not a frequent viewer of my channel. Uh I just totally forgot about over here. So we'll just go and remake that key. I feel like a real mini. We'll grab the iron ore. Did we do it already? There it is. So we have it, and we drop it in. I like that it's a 3D thing until we like need it to be something else, and then we pick it up and it's a 2D thing. Then we machine that. Okay. Iron key. I love smoke stuff. This is a weird like thing, but one of the, ba the one of, like one of the best. Hey, look who it is. You will follow me, you will remember me. Yep. Thought so? The portal gate is fading, so I really have to go. I'm not sure if you'll get here anytime soon, but if you read this, know your only hope to reach the crystal heart now lies inside the grove. The portal there should be functional as, as a strong power source. I think you also have noticed the park gate leading to was sabotaged by the cultists in the plaza. The main gear that was operating, the gate mechanism... Uh, the mechanism was broken. You have to search around for spare parts. Head to the workshop. Has to be some information about what kind of gear you need to replace. How to craft it. Or at least how to craft it. Take this key and a couple spare mags I had. You'll need them. Thank you, Tiati. take a few days before the portal recharges so it can be activated again. Well, damn. That's cool. Little, little buggos flying around. That's 
scared me for some reason. I'll leave some of you guys here. The rest of you? Some power shards. Cool. What is this, a press? Hmm. I'm really curious as to where the story is going. Because, like, it is a fair... She was in there. We saw her. It is a fairly, you know, straight up and down FPS story. For, like... Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. Um... Fairly straight up and down FPS story of, like, hey, go fill this thing. Well, now that you... Uh, what now? <laughs> oh, it kills me, too. But it's meant to go over there. And was gassed in a toxic cloud. Interesting. Empty gear mold and great fortune construction. A2 type gears are the main component of many mechanical gate engines. Unlike the other ones, however, they must be forged out of mithril to be able to last through the extended ones. Extended use of deformed or damaged. Mithril gears require the great forge. Drop five lunts of mithril ore into the forge's smelting machine to obtain an ingot. Place the mold into the forge anvil and cast the gear, and then hammer the crude gear on the forge anvil to grant imperfections. When the notch is hammered, allow the finished gear to cool before using it. And then there was a little parchment. Five mithril into the machine. Put it into the spinny. I don't know how useful the potion launcher will be. Unless the initial burst does some damage. Oh, an iron ingot. Why would I need an iron ingot? Okay, we were in here. So were those the only two doors that you needed to open with the earth key? Hmm. These maps certainly do look really cool. I'll give them that much. I flick my tongue when saying Mithril because that's the proper pronunciation for it. Well, it's the proper pronunciation for the thing that's called Mithril. Because Tolkien spells it Mithril. But that's actually copyrighted. And you're not allowed to say it if you're not Tolkien. So everyone spells it slightly differently and writes it Mithril instead of Mithril. Just to have a very, very slight difference in the pronunciation and spelling. And apparently that's fine. Apparently Lord of the Rings is getting, like, because Amazon is trying to own it now, it's like, getting more and more copyrighted, and boy is that awful. Like, the Amazon monopoly is bad enough, but like, can they also not have stuff like that? Please? Like, there's about a million years of, of people ripping off Tolkien. I would really like to not be, like, stricken, you know? This is probably the anvil, huh? Okay, one more. Alright, just a little check. Now I believe is the time for us to do that jumping stuff that I've been doing. A red crystal! Fuck you, buddy. Oh, 
Of course, they're not caco demons. They're pain elementals. By the way, is pain elemental like not the rawest, craziest fucking name for any demon? Like, first and foremost, the idea of elemental pain is cool. There's this stuff that Bionicle goes into a little bit. Where, like, of course there's, like, the big elements, you know, like, water and fire and stone and stuff. And then there's, like... They go a little deeper into it, where like stone and earth are separate elements, and water and ice are separate elements. Though most people wouldn't, you know, split those. Can't go that way. I gotta go this way. Um. Oh, what's happening? Hit E on this stuff. Oh, cool. Just took a while to spin up. Is this where we are now, by the way? As a as a peop as people who play shooters, are we just playing Minecraft again now? Cause I'm okay with that. Minecraft is cool, but I don't know. I'd like to keep my Minecraft in my Minecraft, and my shooters in my shooters. But yeah, so Bionicle starts to have- I last played the first Bionicle game, by the way, if you want to know more Bionicle lore. There's also this excellent series called Duck Bricks that summarizes it completely. Demons, wretched scum, it all makes sense now. They waited for our forces to leave. They corrupted the Forge Elementals. They have sent the giant worms to weaken our crystal barriers. Everyone's been slain. If only I could have warned them- If only I could have warned the Minotaurs. If my leg were in a charred mess, if only that ring Torvald gave me. Ugh, what a shitty way to go down. At least I can write my last thoughts down. I'm so thirsty. Interesting. But yeah, there's this there's this thing in Minecraft of like in uh, Bionicle of like there's a lot of elements. And like initially it's the logical ones like fire, water, stone. And then like earth and stone are different and water and ice are separate elements. And then you also get stuff like iron and magnetism. Cool. I want to reload this just to get my health back because I, I did take some stupid damage for that reason. Um, and like, of course, there's elemental air, but then they start getting into stuff like elemental vacuum and things like that. And then when you get into like the evil creatures who also all have elements. Sometimes you encounter stuff like elemental fear. Choker of the beast? What is that, a weapon? Okay. Listen to this potion. That's a gluck sound, man. If you know, you know. Yeah, elemental fear is a really cool concept. I do want to see fear as more of a power. Like, there's this ability in Batman Arkham Knight called Fear Multi Takedown. And, like, I would expect that it's just, like, you do so good in the combat thing that you just glare at a guy and he just shits his pants and dies. But what it really is is just moving and attacking very quickly so he can't, like, stop you. And, like, you called it a fear something, you know? I, I assumed that it would be, like, fear-related. I, th I thought it would be, like, fear-adjacent. Mithril Ore. And that, like, that would be cooler as well, I think. A red crystal? Luck another potion down. 
Oh, good. Hmm, I'm not sure how useful the potion cannon is. Whoops. Man. Okay, well there goes all that health. Iron ingot. Scribe embers. A much needed. Oh, they, they put the little thing in. There's this uh there's this coding thing in Doom where like if you're on really low health and you pick up a med a med kit, it'll inform you not only that you picked up a med kit in the top left, but it'll even say you picked up a med kit that you really needed, which is cool. Um this healing spring it is like a quake medium armor amulet dark vision goggles cool perfect so yeah like there's elemental fear and anger and conceptually, those are all really interesting. And it'd be cool to do more with that. I really like that idea. Oh yeah, I learned that you can like kick heads around. Like, continually. I don't know if I knew that already. See, I don't know how useful the, like, potion launcher really is. Because, like, yeah, everyone has a lot less health than me, of course. And so I can stand in the potions and tank them. But that's not the case uh, for them. But another thing about the potions is that, like, they stay where they are. And if you didn't, like, hit the guy then he's not taking as much damage as he, as he should or could be. Peekaboo. Uh, and that's unfortunate because, like, you need him to be taking that damage. Because otherwise, what was the point of shooting him with this special gun? You could and should have just shot him with something else. And then what's more, they can also just walk out of it if they survive. <laughs> Ether ore. Plum brandy. Nice. So it's one of those things where I'm like, I'm a little unclear on what the proper use is. The leak. Maybe something that's like very, very slow, but very, very strong can be worn down much quicker than you normally would. Or maybe some enemies have, like, specific weaknesses to it. Which might be interesting, but... So what am I holding now? What is that? Two iron ingots? Four iron ore? Two mithril ore. That's about what I thought I would have by now. So let's go down here. I have a save in case we need to go back for any reason. Sometimes games like this make me feel like I did when I was playing Sekiro and vice versa. So what, three Mithril War now? Because there's so much in Sekiro where I was just like, what a mysterious game, you know? Oh, man. Ah! 
Well, that's not cool. Or I didn't grab those mush this time. Got them now, don't I? Why is it like that? I'm sure it doesn't have to be that hard, does it? This game, I don't know. I, I really, like... I'm sure nobody... I'm sure people have, like... Are aware of the opinions typically held by... Platforming in first person. Like, everyone knows how people feel about platforming in first person. And I died last time because I didn't go up. Like, by now, everyone's like, man, platforming in first person, especially in, like, a build and uh, 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 a build engineer game and that sort of thing, mm. like, those suck and no one likes them. They've always sucked and no one likes them, ever. I'm glad that they stopped putting them in there, but then people go back and they make games like this on purpose. And, like, why, though? We've evolved past the need to first person in, in games like this. Like, um... What was the... Tribes? No. Trials? Triads. <laughs> Rise of the Triads? Oh, shit. That one scared me a little bit. I think it's Rise of the Triads. Where there's just a whole bunch of first-person puzzle platforming and, like, it's really not that good. Mithril ore. Ooh, another one. Oh, iron ore. Like, there's... At this point, like... I wonder if adamantium is more well-known than Mithril. Like, I still think of the X-Men as being, like, relatively, like, fringe, but the X-Men are, like, popular, you know? Like, they had a couple million-dollar movies. I think they were X-Men... Uh, I think they were Marvel's most popular comics for a little bit. They had a Capcom fighting game. Like, it's weird. I've had this, this like, almost come-to-Jesus moment of, like, stuff is more popular than I think it is. Like, and, like, I was thinking about the, the opinion that a lot of Dark Souls players have, which is that, like, these are these ultra-rare games that nobody beats and nobody plays, and, like, holy shit. Oh, man, people are fucking cool for playing Dark Souls, you know? And, like, saying, oh, yeah, I beat Dark Souls was a thing that you did to flex on dudes back in the, you know, early 210s. You know, you would say, I beat Dark Souls, and people wouldn't believe you. They would say that, like, wow, that's super crazy and difficult. How'd you do that? But, like, now, people don't give a shit. Because, like, beating Dark Souls is what you're supposed to do. And, like, on the other side, people have been like, well, you know, someone else beat it with just their fist, and they're at Soul Level 1, and, you know, they did it blindfolded on a Donkey Kong controller, so why haven't you done that? And, like, people just aren't impressed with, with it anymore. But, like, it's a video game. You're supposed to beat it. Playing a video game means that you're supposed to beat it, right? With the possible exception of games like Dwarf Fortress or something, but those people are weird anyway. Like, everyone knows that roguelike fans are weird. Myself included. I do a fucking show on roguelikes. Okay, so let's look around in here some more. I don't think I went in here enough. Maybe I did. 
Uh, and like people still like hold the idea that Dark Souls is like a, you know, the Soul series is a, uh, you know, practically unknown like an indie game would be. But like, I saw the sales figures for Elden Ring recently. I have not played Elden Ring yet. Uh, but I saw the sales figures and like, Elden Ring's the best selling game of the entire year. And I know that we just started, but like, it's the biggest release of the year. It's bigger than every other game that released this year. Not that it has a lot of competition. There's been a lot of real shitters in the game department, but... And like, not even hilariously bad games like Fallout 76 at launch. Just like games where it's like, oh, sure, this is out, I guess, you know, and you shrug, because who cares? I'm gonna pause the recording, because I'm just talking. All right, I put it together. You can stand on these. I would have never figured on account of them being, you know, like, like they're, they're sprites. So I wouldn't think that I could stand on them, but I can. And an iron ingot. And the time's hard. Yeah, like, there's this, there's still this idea that, like, Dark Souls and the Soul series are, like, these games that, like, normies don't play, but, like, at this point, it's mainstream, guys. Like, it really is. I don't know how to, how to put it any stronger, but, well, that was stupid. But, like, Elden Ring is definitely mainstream now. And as is the rest of the series, like, Demon Souls didn't sell very well. But Dark Souls sold better than that, and every single game after the, after its preceding one sold better. Even, um... Even Sekiro, which was a uh, little outside context, you know? People like these games, you know? It's not crazy to assume that people are playing them. They sell really well, that's why they're getting these production values. And like, now they're, at, I think, triple A considered a triple-A game development. That was stupid. I'm gonna get that back. Alright, I just did this- I just did these jumps. So, or do I need to melt them down first? I'm sure that I have instructions on how to do this. Five pieces of mithril into the that thingy, and then you put them into there, and then is this the thing? It doesn't really look like that. So maybe there's something else. At the very least, I've consolidated the iron in my inventory. For a lathe or something. Is it this one? It only makes. Oh, it's that thing. Yeah, she said it was so loud she couldn't hear herself think, so. Guess what? I was just running around looking at stuff and I was like, oh, hey, that looks interesting. And I hit E on it and it automatically put that in. And I was like, oh shit, I better load that save. So I did. Hmm. Hmm. Now I need mithril ingots. Hmm. Everything's probably in this room, right? Bingo. Okay. I count five in there. That's good. I haven't had a big firefight for this level. So I'm gonna make the maybe safe assumption here that the time is soon. Be thrilling it. Can you take it to here? Mm-hmm. 
into a gear mold. What exactly do I do next? Me to a gear mold, then you hammer it. Me to a gear. Cool. Yeah, I figured as much. Oh yeah, I got distracted earlier. Uh, but like, one of my favorite like crafting or smelting things ever. Like, even more so than any other game that has crafting. Boy, are there a lot of fucking games that have crafting nowadays. Is the Minecraft Tinker's Construct mod. For whatever reason, that mod still has the best possible like crafting I've kind of ever seen. It is meaty in here, wowzers. Let's move up. The engineer. Gotta move that gear up and stuff, you know? It looks like that might be everyone in here though. Unless I can draw somebody out. Crush bow. What's this guy's deal? Weird. Knew it. Why take a chance? That was pretty cool, I must say. It looks like that's everything there is in here, though. Okay, that's fine. And there's that. Okay. Idiots, that's not the tunnel you're supposed to cave in. How are we supposed to get back to the Orcus Plaza now? Got the spare, get the spare powder kegs here right now. Try not to blow yourselves up. How many times do I have to tell you to get a longer fuse and stay away? <laughs> nice. Very cute. Okay, cool. Zero secrets, and some of the items. That's okay. I still slid in beneath the part time, which is good. I also got a bunch of yammering in, which is good for me. Uh, this is a pretty good episode of Head and Blood, right? Although I will say, not as like action packed, like holy fuck, uh, you know, as the other ones. Um, kind of low key, you know. But I like forging stuff. It's still been meaning to like learn to forge stuff in real life, but uh, I should get on with it, you know. Uh, I've been Alfred. This has been Head on Blood Right. I'll see you guys next time. Everyone have a good day. Bye.